I'm getting this one. I am getting this one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chanel and today we're gonna talk about the house of Bilham Parfumery. So if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts and my first impressions, then please just keep on watching. If you're new here and you like fragrance related content and beauty and lifestyle, but really just fragrance related content is what we're doing, then please consider subscribing. Girl, we would love to have you here. Welcome. Also, please like the video too if you do like it. I am trying to help my channel grow and I need your help. Also, follow me on Instagram. I'm going to have the link somewhere down here. It's Chanel Got Sense. Yeah, follow me over there too. All right, let's get into the video. So I have been hearing about Wilhelm Parfumeries for quite a bit. I think the first person that I actually heard about the house from was Jeanne Antoinette. And she was talking about mango skin. And the way she described mango skin, she just made it sound so delectable and just like mouth watering. And I knew I wanted to get my hands on it. But at that time, I was just not that much into fragrance. I was getting into fragrances, but I wasn't like head over heels in fragrance like I am now. I saw the price and I I was like, mm, girl, you crazy. And then just kept it pushing. But then I just kept hearing about the house. I've heard about Poets of Berlin and Mango Skin. And there's another one, Polly, the Polly one. It's in here. It's in this kit. Anyways, I heard about those. And then I was like, okay, I really need to try it. It's a pretty hefty price, especially to blind buy. And I know nothing about the house. So in good fashion, I went on Makari and I saw that they had this discovery kit. I think it comes with one, two, three, four, five. It comes with six fragrances for $35 and it has Morning Chest, Dear Polly, Mango Skin, Room Service, the Basilico and Fellini and Poets of Berlin. A lot of the ones that I do want to test out were in this discovery kit for $35. I was like, okay, you cannot beat that. Wilhelm Parfumery is not a cheap house, okay? Let me just put that out there. So I definitely wanted to sample this house before I bought anything. I was going to blind buy Mango Skin, but I've heard a lot of mixed reviews, so I just want to get my own thoughts and opinions on that before I like shell out the money because they're not cheap, girl. They're not cheap. Enough rambling. Let's go ahead and get into the sampling. So like I said, this discovery kit comes with six samples. It comes in the little case like this. I think I'm going to save mango skin for last because I'm like super hyped for that one. You know, should I do it first or should I do it last? I don't know. I think I'm gonna save it for life. All right, let's go ahead. Let me start off with Poets of Berlin. We're gonna start off with that one. So these are gonna be literally my first impressions on this. I haven't looked up the notes or anything, so I don't really know what I'm smelling. So you guys are gonna get like a full first impression. All right, here we go. Ooh, that smells good. It's kind of sweet, kind of fresh, kind of aromatic. It puts me in kind of like a zen type mode. That smells really good. I actually really like that. I want to sample this on my skin. Let me see. Let me see. Let me put a little, little bit over here. Let me see. Ooh, that's pretty. That opening is really pretty. There's something citrusy and sweet at the top. And then a little bit green. There's something a little bit green. Ooh, it's kind of getting a little bit sweeter. This is nice. What is, which one was this one? This was Poets of Berlin. I like that one. I like that. Wait, let me see what the notes are. Let me see, let me see, let me see what the notes are. Hold on, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, so this one has blueberry and lemon at the top and it has bamboo and orris. That's where that green comes from. The sweetness comes from the orris and that greenness comes from the bamboo. And then you have vanilla, sandalwood, and vetiver. You definitely get a big blast of the um, blueberries. Those are really pretty, really pretty. It kind of is like zen uh, though. I, I don't know, I guess something zen from it i definitely like that one all right right now just first impressions poets of berlin is definitely a win that i really like that one all right let's move on we are going now to Bas basilico oh basilico basilico oh my gosh basilico and fellini i am totally butchering this i apologize listen english is my first language okay so we're going to basilico and fellini first impressions what is that it's kind of green it, it's a little bit masculine it smells like there's like mint or lavender or like some type of tea it's kind of fresh it's it's a little bit masculine a little bit masculine there's something like minty or menthol type of thing it smells kind of green too for sure yeah it just kind of smells very menthol to me what is that i don't know i don't like that one Okay, so this one is classified as green, fresh, spicy, fruity, aromatic, fresh, herbal, woody, and sweet. It has basil. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever smelled a fragrance that had basil in it. That is exactly what it is. 
basil, pitahawa, mm, fig, violet, green grass, hay, and vetiver. The basil, that's what it is, it's basil. I don't want to put that on my skin. It smells, actually, let me, let me put it on my skin. Let me try it. But it's, it smells kind of a little masculine for me. I smell something green. Like I smell basil and something green. That's what I get. It's not very sweet to me. It's kind of fresh, aromatic. Not my favorite. Mm -mm. That is a more sophisticated, my nose is not developed for type scent. This is one of those artistic scents. Eh, I'm not really a fan of it. Not yet. All right, let's move on. Room service is the next one. Okay. That smells clean. Mm, what is that? Is there a rose in there? That smells fresh. It smells very fresh. It smells very clean. Almost kind of like a soap. There's some type of floral. I could definitely smell that floral, but it's nice. I actually really like this. This is like a, I don't know, that's really fresh, really clean, bright type of scent. It smells like, I don't know, I don't want to say it like this, but it smells like spring. There is definitely a floral note, like just kind of wavering in the background. I wanna know what that is. Okay, so room service is classified as powdery, musky, fruity, violet, sweet, woody, floral, citrus, and amalic. And the notes are blackberry, mandarin, orange, orchid, violet, bamboo, musk, black amber, and sandalwood. Something smells really, it's really nice. This is a very clean, fresh scent. I really enjoy it but those florals I can definitely smell the florals I like this one I don't know if I would pay full price for this one but I definitely definitely like this one this is really clean all right hmm. room service that is good that is good okay room service I like that one fresh zen love it that one's good that one's good all right so the next one we're going with is morning chess all right let's see let's give her a scent Ooh, girl hair looking crazy Mm. Mm. that's masculine that is definitely masculine that is like something green and like it smells like a a car seat like a leather car seat like it smells like the interior of like a car that has like something like you know one of them pine things that's what it smells like this is definitely masculine this is not for me mm-mm this smells like a dude. This smells like a dude. Oof, what is that? So Morning Chess is green leather, citrus, animalic, aromatic, balsamic, patchouli, amber, fresh, spicy, and woody. The notes are bergamot, leather, galbanum, patchouli, and black amber. I said it smells like a car. It smells like a car, like a car with a pine scent in it, like one of them pine fresheners in it. Yeah, that's not for me. That is unisex, but it definitely leans masculine for sure. I think my husband would really like that one. But yeah, that one is not for me. No, ma'am. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, now we're gonna go to Dear Polly. I've heard about this one. I don't remember what people said about this one, but I know it's one of their popular ones. Yeah, I'm excited for this one. This is Dear Polly. What does that smell like? That smells like, that smells like Elizabeth Arden green tea. Hold on, I'm gonna spray it on my skin. That smells like Elizabeth Arden green tea, but like an amped up version of that. Like a little bit of, like it smells a little bit bougier than that. But it reminds me of Elizabeth Arden green tea. If this does not have tea in it, I just throw my whole nose away. It has to have tea. There has to be a tea in here. Okay, so this is, it's green, citrus, fresh, fresh, spicy. Amber, fruity, musky, animalic, mossy, and powdery. And the notes are bergamot and apple, black tea, black amber, musk, and oak moss. Okay, as it dries down, I definitely get like more of the the tea. Like, uh, yeah, it does smell like black tea. But when you first spray it, it definitely reminded me of Elizabeth Arden, that green tea, for sure. That's nice. It's not like my favorite though, but it's nice. It's nice. Okay, the last one. The last one. We say the best one for last. It better be the best one because I'm really excited for this one. This is all the rage. This is all Jeanne Antoinette talked about is mango skin. I've been wanting to test this one for so long. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this. I'm getting this one. I am getting this one. Oh. This one, this is it, this is it. Okay, hold on, let me put it on, let me put it, let me put it on the skin, hold on. Mm. 
that is a mango that is a mango just a perfect mango oh my gosh it smells so good it smells so good oh my gosh it's so good so i have two other mango fragrances and this one definitely is my favorite it's really sweet juicy kind of ripe it just everything that you hear about mango skin is true girl I'm here to tell you. Okay, so this one is tropical, fruity, floral, sweet, musky, woody, citrus, powdery, and terpenic. This has mango, orange, violet, frangipani, mango blossom, ylang ylang, black currant, musk, red wine, and civet. Oof, that is so good. I'm about to order it. I'm about to order it right now. Y'all about to see me order this. Wait, let me see the price. Hold on. I may not order this today. I'm gonna order it one of these days all right let's wrap up my thoughts okay my number one favorite absolutely this is the favorite out of the bunch this is mango skin i think my next one i liked was um poets of berlin mm, yeah as this one's drying down it's kind of vanillic it definitely smells more vanilla um definitely that's my second choice room service is my third choice i loved room service that was the one that smelled really fresh really clean and then i'll go with dear polly that's the one that smells like tea that one's nice i really like that one and then the last two are the uh basilico fellini and the morning chest i think i'll go basilico i'm saying that terribly wrong i know a basilico and fellini would be next and then followed by the last one which is morning chest is morning chest that leather one the one that smells like the car that's the last one that's not for me but all in all i'm very impressed with the brand so i was reading up on it this is like a contemporary brand and i think they were founded in like 2015 these are definitely some unique fragrances and just kind of like those artistic fragrances you know what i mean not your typical run-of-the-mill designer type fragrance I am very, very impressed with the brand so far and definitely look forward to trying some other ones out. I'm going to see if there's another discovery kit. But yeah, I'm really happy with what I got and what I tried out. So yeah, these are just my thoughts and my first impressions on the brand and on these perfumes. I will do a follow up at the end of the month to kind of let you guys know my actual thoughts and opinions on them. But right now I'm just testing these out and I had fun. I had a lot of fun with this today. Have you guys tried Velhem Parfumery? What's your favorite one from the brand? I am curious. I want to know. Let me know. Let's chat down in the comments. But yeah, that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe while you're down there. Also, make sure you go follow me on Instagram at Chanel Got Sense. And uh, yeah, until my next video. Bye. What is that called? Me. Am I ashy? Fresh, spicy, and mm, when I say fresh, spicy, I just be like, fresh, spicy. We are, uh, I'm sorry. Ooh. Okay, let me, let, me, let, me look, let me look it up. So I have been hearing about Bell. <clears throat> okay, let me see, let me see. Out of, I really, out of the six, mm, close the door, close the door. I'm not done.